What is up my peepholes, this is your guy Cly, and welcome back to Budget Buys. Now today, what I'm taking a look at is the Remix wireless speaker that I found not too long ago at my local 5 Below. Now just like 95% of the Bluetooth audio gear you're going to be finding in that store, this is brought to us by Bass Jacks. And it's quite a bit different from the standard Bluetooth fare they bring out. In this case, what we're dealing with is a wearable Bluetooth speaker, not to be confused with Bluetooth headphones. And unlike Bluetooth headphones, you wear this around your neck, so it's actually kind of useful for people who are a bit sensitive to the standard style of headphones you're finding, or you want to be able to kind of hear your surroundings while you're using it. And as an added bonus, you can bring this with you on public transit and be one of the most obnoxious people there, second only to the person listening to very loud music on a tinny cell phone speaker. As for the specs of the speaker, you can find those listed on the back of the box. In this case, we have a 36 millimeter driver, which for those of you playing at home is a bit smaller than their old drivers, which were 40 millimeters and quite a bit smaller than their more recent drivers, which are 52 millimeters. But I guess they had to save a little bit of money for the plastic shell that they were shoving it into. The battery is a rechargeable lithium ion cell with 3.7 volts of power and 300 milliamp hours which should last you about one to two hours, though with this being a smaller driver, it might actually go for a bit longer due to the fact that one to two hours is what they listed at both the 40 millimeter and 52 millimeter drivers respectively. As for the effective range of the Bluetooth transceiver, it's about 32.8 feet or 10 meters, but with this being a wearable speaker, you're not really going to be that far from your audio source unless you have it hooked up to your computer. And finally, it claims to use Bluetooth 5.0. Admittedly, despite the fact that I've been reviewing a lot of these lower cost Bluetooth speakers, I don't know the intricacies of the different generations of Bluetooth, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Anyway, let's move this out of the way and show you what you get inside the box. Inside the box, you get a manual, a micro USB charging cable, and of course, the speaker itself, or as I like to call it, the musical toilet seat. And I've got things to say about this because I actually took it apart while I was testing it and I found out something quite interesting. And that is the fact that the speaker is not actually where you would expect it to be. With something like this, you would expect there to be two audio drivers to either side and that would make sense due to the fact that they reduced the size of the driver to save costs, but not so much. Instead, the 36 millimeter audio driver is sitting right here behind your neck where it's not really going to do the best when it comes to sound reproduction. Also, the battery and the rest of the hardware are all located right here where you have your power switch and charging port. And there's nothing over here. There is no counterweight, so things might end up getting a little lopsided on you if you move around a lot. Now, that being said, this actually surprised me a little bit when it came to the audio quality because it doesn't sound half bad. I tested this out with metal, jazz, things like that. I did bass, I did treble, I did all of it, and actually, it reproduced things quite well. I mean, yes, the 52 millimeter drivers sound better, but it wasn't as muddy or tinny as I was expecting. In fact, let me grab a microphone to let you hear what it sounds like. All right, I brought out my Uhuru UM900 microphone that I reviewed not too long ago. Let's get this started with a little bit of metal. And next up, a little bit of jazz. So as you can hear, it doesn't sound that bad, though it could definitely sound better. They could improve the audio quality significantly by either moving up to the 52 millimeter driver or just plonking in 
two of their 32 millimeter drivers. Heck, in the past, they've carried little AA battery powered stereo speakers, and I think the drivers out of those would have done a bit better than one 36 millimeter driver stuck behind your head. Just put the other less powerful ones right around here and you're golden. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the audio quality out of this thing. As for whether or not it's worth your $5, it all depends on what you're looking for. And I will say when I was watching videos with this thing, it didn't actually have a noticeable lag between the audio and video, unlike some of their other speakers. Maybe that has to do with the Bluetooth 5.0, but that means that I can actually use this with my laptop, watch a movie, and just walk around and not have to worry about anything. I wouldn't use it while gaming because I like having stereo when I game so I know where things are coming from in my first person shooters, but I'm not playing those all the time so I guess I do have use for something like this after all. Oh yeah, before I sign things off I want to point something out. I can almost guarantee you in the comment section of this video, just like pretty much every other 5 Below review I've done, somebody's going to say, my speaker doesn't work. Well, in cases like that, keep in mind that 5 Below has a return policy. That's the beauty of going to a brick and mortar store. Let me read you an excerpt from the receipt from this purchase. Unopened or defective merchandise may be exchanged within 14 days. With a receipt, we'll refund in the original form of payment. Without a receipt, we'll refund on a gift card. So you're not out of luck if you test your products beforehand. Anyway, on that note, until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.